Baseball players are a superstitious group. Richie Ashburn slept with his bats. Wade Boggs would only eat chicken before a game, and God help you if you speak to a pitcher when he's throwing a no-hitter. Of course, this is not unique to North American baseball at all. Japan has its own weird little traditions too, and perhaps none is more peculiar than a particular helmet that was donned by two Hall of Fame caliber players. First, Katsuya Nomura. Nomura is the greatest catcher in NPB history, known affectionately as Moose by most of his American teammates thanks to his, well, big head. Even though he did use a batting helmet when they started to come into vogue, no Japanese manufacturer made a helmet that was quite big enough, so he found them extremely uncomfortable. In 1970, the San Francisco Giants were doing a preseason tour of Japan, and Nomura went to the Giants dugout and asked to try on one of their helmets. When he found it fit him perfectly, he asked if he could have it. They agreed, and before the day was out, the helmet was painted green and adorned with the NH of the Nankai Hawks. When Nomura signed with the Lotte Orions, he took the helmet with him, now painted navy blue. And when the Lions signed him in 1979, the helmet came with him, now painted light blue. However, for reasons I can't find, Nomura didn't take the helmet with him when he retired, and it ended up in Seibu's equipment room for the next five years. In the 1985 draft, the Seibu Lions got absurdly lucky and landed the top prospect Kazuhiro Kiyohara, who most teams had gone after thinking his PL Gakuen teammate Masumi Kuwata had withdrawn from the draft. Kiyohara was also an absurdly big guy, even before he bulked up like a WWE wrestler, so Seibu found they didn't have a helmet that fit him. Until one of the equipment managers realized they still had Nomura's helmet in storage. Kiyohara found that the helmet fit him perfectly, and was shocked when he took it off to see Nomura's number 19 on the back. So, he resolved to give it back to him someday. However, when Kiyohara first faced off against Nomura's Tokyo Swallows in the 1992 Japan series, Nomura refused it in a, it's yours now kind of way. So, Kiyohara kept it, and he did the same thing Nomura did. When he signed with the Giants, he painted the helmet black, and when he signed with the Buffaloes in 2006, it got painted navy blue and Oryx's red stripes were added to it. 2006 would also see Nomura finally agree to be reunited with his old helmet, as Kiyohara presented it to him before a game between his Buffaloes and Nomura's Eagles. Sadly, Nomura and Kiyohara would fall out in the coming years, with Nomura regularly chastising Kiyohara's behavior on live TV, which, if you know anything about Nomura's own personal life, is gloriously ironic. After Nomura passed away in 2020, Kiyohara's grief overcame any residual bitterness between the two. In a statement, he roughly said, I will forever cherish this helmet that I inherited from Mr. Nomura, and it will remain with me for the rest of my life, reminding me that I need to strive to be a better person. And that's where the helmet is today, in Kiyohara's possession, probably never to be worn again. Unless... Those 1970s helmets were designed to sustain 120 mile an hour fastballs. Nomura and Kiyohara probably changed the padding several times over the 36 years they used it, and Kiyohara's son got a scholarship to play baseball at Keio University in the Tokyo Big Six. If he ends up getting drafted, we might just see that helmet again someday.